Hey, what's going on guys? Video Gamer here, and today we are playing some more The Wolf Among Us. And last in last episode, we Narissa came and talked to us and gave us hints to go to speak to Beauty and Beast. They gave us some information on where they would drop their loans and what um, operating system they have the uh, glamour out of besides using green uh, leaf, green wood, green leaf, something like that. That witch, you know, remember her. We burned her tree. Um, so, like, we found all these pieces to the puzzle, but yet it still is just all mixed up. We didn't... There were people at the uh, Glamour slave shop, but they, uh, the butcher helped them escape, so... And you can see was there, but we did find the missing Sharpie, so hopefully this will help us out. So let's just see what this will bring us. Achievement, he was much feared. <laughs> it's not gonna get mad because I beat up that guy. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, yeah. and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Oh my gosh. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. Ooh. <laughs> just one Ooh. moment, please. She what told you. Aw, oh, yeah. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Want a I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? A lot of stuff. I thought you were going to report back to me. Um, all fables. I mean, it's fine. Duh. Uh, so what uh, else did you find out? I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn, but he told me that the crooked man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door once it's fixed? That's how Crane that's found how it. That's how Crane did it. And that's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Okay. What's going on? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. I'm believe You burned Crane's Why stuff. Did you burn Crane's stuff, huh? And don't bullshit me. Buffkin was there. I know it was you. Given Ichabod's obsession with Miss White, I thought it best to make sure that nothing uh, untoward saw the light of day. Oh, fuck off. I know you were burning evidence. Then tell me, what evidence did I burn? Don't know. Uh, I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. I do so enjoy our talks. I'll wait with bated breath. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Wait, what? You got me. Not necessarily. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic um, experience, you know. So this process can be a little... It was at the Lucky Pond. I had a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pond. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Hmm? How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. <sighs> I'll handle We're trying it, so. to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? He's talking without his mouth moving. Over there. Yeah. 
Thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. Hmm? He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Oh no! Toad, come here. Oh no! I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? You wanna get slapped? I'm willing. Listen, well, I have a lot of money now, sir. What damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Do you know the Crooked Man? Before we get into any of that, what do you know about the Crooked Man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping mall in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Give him Crane's money. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means <laughs> it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. No Use it to get glamour, Toad. You got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. It's nice to see him finally smile. No, 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 no. Bluebeard. You want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem um, that important right now, but glamours are the law for a I did the right thing. reason. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this. But I just keep wondering why it happened. To Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. Money is all he cares Guys about. Guys like the Crooked Man, all they care about is money. That's what all his operations were about. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't bringing enough money in. Or maybe they were just trying to find a way out. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. I have to say, I have been better. Hello. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm Bye. sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. He's probably okay. still waking up a little. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up to. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Oh, 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 oh! What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So. Let's not do that again, okay? Okay. Like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need Going to focus to on the immediate threat, and that's the crooked man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Okay. Um, Are you having trouble with the rhyme? Mirror, mirror. Uh, mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So where does crooked man hang out? <laughs> that was horrible. I don't recognize the door, but. That's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. It's disappearing. The door. It moves. Yeah. What I tell you? Looks like Wait the back minute. of the pudding a pie. I know that door. That's Central Park. Oh. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait! 
When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I got you. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Of course, no, we got this. He might come back a little bruised, but I think he'll be fine. But soon he mended his evil ways. Whew, the Gothic Bridge. Run! Oh, 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 oh! Open, 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 open! Something bad's gonna happen to me. But kick it open! Walk through you. Walk through you. Walk through you. Really? It's gotta be this dramatic? Whoa! Hold up. Hold up. Hello. Tim, what <gasps> the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. Huh? I'm confused I'm again. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so... If you'll come this way... Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please right. don't make this hard on me. I'm not. Fine, lead on. Don't use your little crippledness to manipulate me, okay? It's probably all a lie. You're probably the crooked man. Where are we exactly? Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. It's all good. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. You're part Tim, of this. how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not... He's not as bad as you think. Really? He doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. No, it's Just not. keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Oh my Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty, too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. Yeah, so he is. You're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? No. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you? Johnny Boy. Stop laughing at me. Oh, go yeah? ahead. You got hey, a job to do. I ain't scared of you. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Hi, hello, everyone. It's good to see you all. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort. What the but frick? you handled it. You did well. What's wrong with your you can face? Go now. Thank you, sir. Just don't tip Tim! Tim! You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why do you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Indeed we do. 
All right, let's talk. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. What? Don't tell me that's it. Don't you dare tell me that's it. Don't you dare tell me. No! <laughs> I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. It's not fair. <laughs> what? What? Oh my gosh. What the heck? I was hoping I'd go on I wanted to talk to him. It's not fair. You can't drop it like that on me. <sighs> but I still don't know who he is. I, I was trying to look at the mirror in the back because it looked like it showed his story, but I couldn't see it. it kept mo the camera kept moving, so... Anyway, player's choices. Did you send Colin to the farm? You and 39% and of the players decided Colin should not go to the farm. Huh, I would have thought that would be a bigger percentage. Since he's like basically stood up for Big B. I guess, I don't know. Did you attempt to remove Nerissa's ribbon? You and 38% of the players tried to remove the ribbon. Really? I would have thought it would have been more to just like take it off. But I guess I should have asked first. There was an option. I, I don't know. You and 50% of the players went to the uh, cut above first. Yeah. Yeah, it's split pretty evenly. I was so nervous, like, like the pawn shot was going to be, like, swiped out. Swiped out? Wiped out. So, did you send Toad to the farm? You and 47% of the players decided Toad should not go to the farm. Yeah, I, even though, like, I feel like Toad had been through a lot, you know? I mean, his stuff got pretty busted up, and it wasn't really his fault. And I could understand why he would be mad. I would be mad, too. So, I, I get it, I guess. How did you respond to the crooked man? You and 19% of the players agreed to talk with him first. And that's all the choices. Oh my gosh. Not exactly as exciting as the last one was. The last one was just... Whew. But this one, it gave a lot of information. And it's kind of piecing all the puzzles together. And we finally get to see the crooked man. But I don't know who he is. I don't recognize him from any story I've seen. But, I, I just, I don't know. That freaky eye, I, I really don't know. Hmm. Anyway, I don't know. So there's one more episode, guys. One more, and I'm so excited for it. I can't freaking wait. Oh my gosh. I'm like shaking. Anyway, guys. Like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed. Because I know I sure did. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now. <laughs>